Hey everybody, I'm David Christopher with Awesome Music Live and we are keeping it weird in South Austin today. We're with Royce Williams at the South Side Tattoo on South Congress in Austin, Texas, deep in the 04. Um, we are here to find out a little bit about the tattoo culture in Austin, Texas, and I wanted to come with one of, to one of the best uh, tattoo artists in town. Thank you for being Thank here. Thanks for calling me one of the best, man. Well, that's right. I'll take it. <laughs> absolutely, man. Absolutely. Uh, so, can you, like in your own words, tell me a little bit about the tattoo culture? You know, what's that about? Why do people get it? What's it about? Why is it so cool? Uh, there's, there's a lot of reasons, I, I suppose, people get tattoos. Um, taking control of your body and maybe putting something on there that you'd like to see, you know. So, beyond that, you know, there's a lot of, like, history in tattooing, people have been doing it for ages, you know, and so like, it's never really s slowed down or stopped, and so the more modern take on it is just, you know, like people do it to commemorate certain things in their lives. Right. Uh, it can be very powerful, or they can just do it for fun. Yeah. So it's a, it's a rite of passage for some, you know, and some get a lot of young kids in here getting their first tattoos when they turn 18. Um, Let me ask you, because most people don't stop with one. Right. Like how many tattoos do you have? I, I stopped counting a while back. So what's the thing? There's like an addiction with it. Once you start, it's like you can't stop. What's yeah, that it's, it, it's not so... I think once you get one or two tattoos, kind of the mystery of it, uh, you know, uh, kind of dissipates a little bit to where it's like, oh, well, it wasn't that bad. So, you know, I want this tattoo here now. Right. And then after that, it's like, I want another tattoo here. Right. You know, and so you just kind of keep chasing that, you know? Yeah. Uh, now, but that shit's there forever, man. That's yeah, not yeah. going to come off, right? No. Forever, you know? Like, what's forever? It's going to last as long as you do. Possibly longer. <laughs> you got a point there. Yeah. How many tattoos do you have? I have ten tattoos. Ten tattoos? Why ten? I get one every year, actually, since I was 18. And so why? What does that mean for you? It's kind of like an addictive thing, isn't it? Uh, I would agree. I, I get my tattoos as a place marker, like a milestone for every year. It kind of describes that year for me. So it's kind of like a, a, a hallmark of your experience for that year. Yeah, for me definitely. So what are your tattoos about? Are they good years? Are they bad years? This one right here is um, powerlifting. Uh, it's been a big part of my life this year. Yeah. So. Um, I'm probably 20 pounds away from getting the world record in strict curls, so on my bicep I got a barbell. No oh, shit. That's right. Damn. <laughs> it looks incredible. Thank you. How long have you been doing this work? 13 years now. 13 years. Yeah. Man. Do you have a, like a specialty or a certain kind of thing that you're kind of known for? Uh, I, I wouldn't say so. I, you know, I try to stay as versatile as possible. Um, it's just kind of the way I was brought into it, you know, the more people that you can tattoo, the better you're going to be able to provide for yourself. So, um, I try to say it's virtual and not try to get myself pigeonholed in one certain direction. Right, right. Uh, but I do enjoy uh, classic Americana tattooing. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, Pinups, anchors, eagles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, it's really solid tattooing. Um, that's what I enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. So, we're we're trying. I'm trying. I'm on this quest to find out what "keep it weird" means. You know, good luck. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, what do you think that means? What's that mean for you as an artist, as a tattoo artist in Austin, Texas? They say "keep it weird." What's that mean for you? I mean, we're in the heart of it of "keep it weird." Right. Well, some people obviously take that to heart and try to outdo each other. Um, but I, I think you know what they're speaking to is just, you know, not the normal cookie cutter shit, right? You know, you you do it your way. And and whatever way that is, maybe it's weird to somebody else, but you do it your way. You do what you want to do and what, you know, uh, moves you. Right? So it's almost like a, a freedom of creativity, a freedom of expression, a individuality, just be who you want to be, express it. And there's something about this town that kind of encourages that behavior. Yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty pretty loose town in that regard. I think a lot of a lot of uh, 
younger population, you know, a lot of young kids moving here. We got two colleges here, um, three if you're counting the, the community college. And so it's, it's, it's kind of got a young feel. Yeah. You know? So we, we have benefits. So besides being a tattoo artist, you're also a musician, is that right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we're doing a music show, so this is perfect. So awesome. tell me a, a little bit about your band. Uh, we're a uh, four-piece, um, uh, just kind of do like a rock and roll kind of thing, um, somewhere between like, you know, Ramones and uh, kind of a little poppier but with a dark twist. Um, What's your name? Rebel Flesh. Rebel Flesh. How can everybody find you? Uh, we're everywhere, man. We're Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, Facebook. What's your Facebook so people um, can like find you guys? Rebel Flesh. Rebel Flesh. So yeah. Facebook.com backslash Rebel Flesh. I think you'd be able to find it. Love it, man. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it, man. No problem, man. Yeah.